Hello everybody, how you doing? Cedric and CJ here, CRS and Commentary will be answering viewers, and we have struggled for this. Okay, no, I have. I'm like, should we do it one lip sum? Should we do it at the end of a show, the beginning of a show? What should we do? And I thought, you know what, it'd be better if it was its own thing, okay? If it's its own thing. So, the idea of this is we're gonna do this one by one. So that way, I'm hoping for all of you that are interested, we can have continuous content almost maybe every day or something, something. Uh, so we're gonna do a few probably tonight. It's 11.44, you gotta go to sleep soon anyway. I do. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to get these done because some of these are, if not all of them, are gonna be like extremely fun. Uh, Hold up, let me go ahead and speed these wrestlers up. Because that, that, that's getting on my nerves, that slow walk. Okay, so let's start, because this is just answering viewers. That's all we're going to be doing. And now I still got SmackDown to watch for tomorrow. So, okay. This is Zemo. And this is 12 days ago. I just gave it a, a, a like and a heart because it's funny. It's just Okay. Oh, he might, he's responding to our commentary for answering viewers when it came to double or nothing. <laughs> All right. He says, okay, Christian Cage is awesome. The man can draw heat just by standing in the ring for five minutes. Sorry, but I strongly disagree with you, Cedra. I mean, honestly, Cedra, are you really going to criticize someone for their appearance? Yes. Cage may Cage may be a bit slower, but he is still crisp and smooth in the ring he can still outwork half the roster and he is in good shape see see you might have to just, I, lay, you I, might have I, to just take it now i don't recall saying anything about him being in poor shape nope nothing about his shape I'm talking about his ass see i i am a, a woman that's heterosexual so i look at dudes butts and Christian has none. Never has he had one. Not never. Not since the moment he stepped in WWE to this precise moment in time right now. He is assless and he will continue to be assless. What does that got to do with his in-ring performance? They got nothing to do with it. But when you talk about the, the women on these different wrestling shows and how they ain't got no butt, they ain't got nothing to do with it either. Well, I don't talk about that. Uh, yeah, you do. No, I don't. Now, Zimbo don't talk about that either. I, I'm not talking about Zimbo. I'm talking about you. Well, I don't talk about that. You so you mean to tell me watching the wrestling show and doing commentary, you know, none of them have any butts. No, I don't say that. Uh-huh. That's okay. you. That's you. Me talking about women not having butts? Yep. I don't care. They got what they got. I don't want it. Yes, you do. <laughs> You gonna say what you got to say, huh? No, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm. Just. You gonna say what you got to say? I'm gonna keep denigrating Christian. Look, yeah, he can work great. He's he's been working for a long time. He's a good heel. You want to punch him in the face? I I, I I just don't care for him. If he walked out of the, uh, AEW right now into the Canadian sunset, he would not be missed. Is he is he because he pisses you off that much? Is that what it is? Yes. So you mean to tell me you want a f wrestling company full of baby faces? I got nothing to do with it. You can't, his no, habits. you can't have it both ways. You no, can't have, have it both ways. About both, both ways. This is about my dislike of Christian. Because you said not you were straight. You can't be bisexual all of a sudden. Not, it's not about him being a heel. It's about my, my dislike. For Christian, yeah, it's gonna always need heels. Fine, I just don't like that kind of heel. What kind of heel? Uh, he's like fifty percent sniveling, and surround himself with weak spine jackasses. Okay, okay, so let's do this. What kind of heel do you want to see? Let's see. Um, you know, you ain't getting out of this. Swerve was a good heel when he was a heel. I like that. So everyone's got to be like Swerve. Nope. Let's see. Undertaker was a good heel. Was Ric Flair a good heel? Ric Flair was a good heel. See, now, now you're contradicting yourself. How am I contradicting myself? Because that's the exact same type of heel Christian is. He's the exact same. He's just He's not... got himself surrounded by weak spine flunkies. 
Is that what Flair had? Is R, uh, just double A, Arn Anderson, a weak spine flunky? Chris Benoit? Huh? Mongo McMichael? Okay, first of all, all right, more men wrestled back then. Uh, you had to look like a damn man. <laughs> hey, man, I can't control who they pull out the, the high school varsity basketball team to be a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look old enough to be that. They, they ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just telling you. How in the hell? And it's, I don't like the his heeldom and his domination of his subordinates. It's bad enough. His subordinates are weak. They are playing the part as weak. They just getting paid. They had all this... Hoopla Nick Wayne couldn't over Nick Wayne. All Nick this Wayne hoopla. couldn't fight if he was using a Wii. Hey man, they spent money and went to his house and busted him open and bloody T-shirts and oh my father and all this stuff for him to be walking the aisle with his mama. <laughs> God damn. They both are arm pieces. They are both valets. That's as much as they do is valet work. I hope daddy is proud. It'd be so awesome if Christian was retraining them so they could work better in the ring, but... Christian is not. Christian gonna ride this train till the wheels fall off and then he going back to Canada or wherever the hell he live. He lives somewhere. He's a wrestler with money. He probably lives in Florida. You mean to tell me... That this douchebag isn't really a douchebag. Christian? Yeah. I don't think so. Not to the degree that he portrays on TV. Yeah, he plays one well on TV. I could play one well on TV. That is not the point. We are not talking about you and your heeldom on TV. We're talking about assless Christian. He can work. Yes, I don't like him. And he's got no ass. We can move on. What's the matter with you? I don't know. This ass ain't got nothing to do with his ability to work. Charlotte Flair can work. And she ain't got no ass. But. Yes. See, I agree with that. I don't start off or even try to end with that. That's all you. And, and, and no one's talking about Charlotte Flair with you. I'm talking about Christian. I'm, what I'm talking saying about is, it doesn't have... matter if somebody yeah. has an ass or not. It's just, you know. No, I'm, it doesn't. But I'm pointing it out because I don't like Christian. Damn. I don't like his turtlenecks. I don't like his it wouldn't have matter. It wouldn't even matter if this dude was built like younger Dave Batista and he was wearing those, you know, $2,000 suits at the time, which would translate to about five to $6,000 suits now. If he was doing that, you'd be like, I don't like him and I don't like his suits. I don't like his shades. Yeah. I don't like how he's all built and muscular and he's got no butt. See? You can, so in other words, I don't like Christian. You, How many times you're I just a hater. You're just a hater. I already said he's, he can wrestle. He's got pacing. He's season ring generalship. Yada, yada, yada. I don't like his style of heel. I don't like him. What do, I don't know. I'm being okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not chastising <laughs> that. <laughs> what, 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 what do you want? I appreciate want you being up me? front. But <laughs> you're not going to make me like him. No, 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 I don't want you to dislike him, but look, he has clearly gained a negative response from you. He, you know that pro wrestling is a work, but yet he's kayfabe the hell out of you. Hey, man. He's take obviously to, damn to, good. Take it back to TNA. He will always have go home heat. So that's what it goes back to. You know that. We've discussed this. <laughs> Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Zimbo. She's just a hater. She likes Tai Chi now. Yes, that's it. I'm a, I'm going to bust all the balls I got to go watch Tai Chi in 30 minutes. He's probably going to be in wait. the G1. He is not in the G1. Is that why you weren't that interested to watch it this time? This that time, explains it. I get it. I, I, I'm the one all right, that told so we can you move when, on you now. Mother, I'm the one that told you when the G1 is starting and who for, for some of the folks that were wrestling. I don't recall any of that. You cannot recall it all you want to, just like you can, you know, ignore that he ain't got no ass, and it's still all true. <laughs> uh, 
So Zimu, Zimu goes on and says, I will admit I should not judge edge on age. As someone who never judged others on their appearance, I should know better. That said, Edge should not have won the cage match. See, 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 why can't you be as honorable as Zimo? He 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 did an ageist thing. He called himself out for it. He says he shouldn't do it. He should be better than that. You know that Christian is awesome. You won't admit <laughs> that. Why can't you, you just you are just lying to yourself? I already told you that the Astros won the Ken Russell. What do you what do you want from me? You won't even move. Because he ain't got no butt. Hey, man, there is a hundred ways to go out into the world and get you some booty. He should try one. (sighs) (laughs) He says, House of Black is supposed to be one of the top factions, but all three members lost to one man in three different matches. I feel that way about Randy Orton when he come out and just own everybody. I feel that way about that crap. Yeah, him and his WWE face. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> Malachi Black should have won based on the damage Edge received from the spot off the cage, which, by the way, was pretty dumb regardless of age. Yes. 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 Now, honestly, we didn't see that. I don't remember Because we were spot. skipping. We were yeah. skipping. It was just stupid after stupid after stupid. We just skipped it. That's all. We couldn't deal. We couldn't deal. And, and see, here, here is my thing. I understand. Edge is in great shape. He he wrestles like he ha- he hadn't lost a step. Like he ain't take no years out for that injury. It's all good. But you have to be aware of your physical limitations as you age. And he he lost his awareness. He should not. First of all, it shouldn't have been a cage match. Let's just no. It didn't need to be. It shouldn't have been a cage match. It didn't even get it, nothing. Even it never escalated to the point of needing a cage match. A cage no. match happens after you done been in too many matches where someone keeps interfering, yes. and then you issue the cage match. This went from cage match to let's try to murder each other. And you know, jumping off the cage. I, they're trying to be attitude error, you know. Undertaker and others were diving off the cage. They, they won't, were probably, but they won't fifty, and they would probably tell you <laughs> that was dumb back then. Yep, yeah, they would probably tell you it was dumb. It, it was great, but I, I I shouldn't have done that. I, I, and Edge, with his injury, is probably thinking the same thing. I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better. It's like. I'm not 20. And if you were, you shouldn't do it. Mm -mm. He says, Edge can take a loss. Yeah, he can. It's like Sting going undefeated before he retired. I respect Sting, and I did not want to see Sting lose every match, but he did not need to have an undefeated streak. I agree. Because he's undefeated. He goes into the pay-per-view. Okay, you know he's going to win, but how? Not, are they going to make him lose? Because you know you you go to Japan, you they retire, they lose. They lose every last match. They lose. I don't know. Maybe it's like they go out the way they came in. You're a young lion. You lose every match. If you if you go against another young lion, the one more seasoned or 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 whatnot is the one that's going to go over. Or y'all play play rock paper scissors for it. I don't know. But yeah, if he had went in with a few losses, people would have been wondering how is it going to go. Yeah. And uh, about, I didn't even I, know he had an undefeated streak. To be honest with you, I wasn't even paying t- attention like that. It was more like, how y'all gonna mess up Sting's retirement? That's what yeah, I was and wondering. See, I swear that Sting has lost some. No, no, no. The, his January to uh, March or whatnot, he didn't lose a single match. I'm, Barely had any, but but they were talking about his entire tenure in AEW. He was undefeated. Isn't that what they meant? Uh, maybe he was. But um, he it ain't like he wrestled much. He didn't wrestle much. He was gone for lots of... Sting was on losing teams, but Sting has never lost. Okay. And that's not the way tag teams are supposed to go. No, yeah. You, Your team lost, you, you lost. lost. Yeah. You know, they changed those rules. And I've always, for the past four years, been like, I, I'm hearing something that I'm not liking. 
is it really that way? But they never go into a full in-depth conversation about it. So mm -hmm. I'm like, maybe, maybe I'm just thinking differently. So I just let that stay in the wind. But yeah, doing it this way, that's just dumb. You just don't do it that way. And I and I feel bad for Buddy Matthews and and Brody King. Because they are both excellent they, wrestlers. They could be a, they, such a devastating tag yes, team. Yes, they would be so good. They need to, I love you know I love the pageant pageantry. So I love the whole thing of how they come out. But Malachi is inconsistent. Yeah, what mask is he going to wear? How is he going to stand? Is, is he going to be how, sitting? How is, is he going to perform? Is he going to be devastating? Is he going to do a bunch of dumb shit? He's inconsistent. Whereas Buddy Matthews, when he come out by himself, you know he's going to kick ass unless he's going against, you know, some of the golden boys of AEW. Yeah. Which he usually is and he usually has to lose. So, yeah, it sucks the, the bind they are in. Oops, I ain't been watching. Okay, hold up. Got to put up a new match. I don't I don't understand. Oh, my goodness. Maybe it's because I just... I lost favor. And I don't watch AEW like that. And I, I doubt I ever will. I doubt I ever will. Um, okay, what do you say? Uh, the point... Ah, scroll down. The point of a veteran is to put over the new talent when the time uh, is right. But between New Japan and AEW, young talent can't catch a break. They're not going to catch a break. They're not. They can't. That ain't happening. Because people look for, they look out for number one. That's, that's first and foremost, okay? They look out for number one. Sting isn't a ring general he's not sting is far from a ring general if sting was a ring general the matches he was in he wouldn't have been in them like that mm -hmm. he just wouldn't he wouldn't have done the glass spot he wouldn't have done that other stuff ring generals can tell you how to put on a good match to get the people to believe you and they they can tell you from top to bottom how to just get not just over, but the match over, your opponent over. Sting just goes out there and earn a paycheck. Sting ain't trying to take care of anybody. Well, he wasn't trying to take care of anybody. He would if Sting was actually gave a damn, he would have been like, Darby, do not do that chair spot. Mm hmm Be like, don't. Don't do that glass spot. Just just it's not gonna add anything to this match. Yep. It would have had a strong wrestling match. It would have looked real good. And that would have been it. And the young talent, they ain't gonna, it's not about catching the break. It's about not being worth a damn to the company. They need, it sucks, but there's nowhere else to go. You want TV exposure. You want to be seen as worthwhile. But there's no one to take you in and say, look, we're going to train you up. We're going to teach you psychology. We're going to teach you to be safe. We're going to stop all this flippy flop that you do and just put some flippy in. Because if you're doing the boing, 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 if you're going to be a, a, a pogo stick or a, or, or a slinky, <laughs> then, you know, this ain't, this ain't it. This ain't it. Because anyone can say, well, I've taken three years of gymnastics in high school. I can do this too. And it's like, no, no. no. Because I have seen interviews with young talent in high school that say that they, you know that they're take they're doing floor routines and stuff because they want to be a wrestler i was like that's got to be the most fucked up thing i have heard and it ticked me off because it made it it solidified that jim Cornette knows what he was talking about about the people wholeheartedly mm -hmm. and it ticked me off it ticked me off so, yeah. Um, he said, I have to be honest. I believe the Attitude Era was overrated. Yes, it was. Everyone forgot that during the Attitude Era, Vince turned the women into sex symbols. No, well, well Russo did, yes. Booked ridiculous segments and, de and defied logic. May Young giving birth, being a good example. And long promos that just repeats the same things. Tony's dad should have 
discipline him a long time ago or at least convince him to hand the booking to someone with common sense. Thank you for your response. And look, Vince McMahon, okay, just, just let y'all know about the Attitude Era. What made the, the, the Attitude Era great? Okay, one, the same few wrestlers were fighting for the titles, okay? Well, the title, okay? It was that Rock, Undertaker, Triple H, Shawn Michaels. You know, you could sprinkle in Flair, Randy, just some people, you know, here and there, Steve Austin, all right? So those were your top ones. Nobody was going to be there. Nobody. Mm-hmm. The long-winded, long promos, okay? All right. Let me talk to you. Let me repeat some of the things I'm saying, throw out my catchphrases, humiliate you, look like a star, a Hollywood star. Okay, that's the other one. But you can't do that but so much, right? Yeah. So you got the women. Vince McMahon doesn't care about women wrestling. But he does know one thing for sure, and Vince Russo easily convinced him of that. Sex sells. Mm-hmm. Like, Vince McMahon, it's like, look, he wants to see some nice, nice, thin women, blonde, in certain panties, their tights and trucks. The women go out there, he's like, yeah. So then you throw them in bra and panties matches. You throw them in swimming pool matches. You throw them in mud matches. You throw them in, uh, it won't bra and panties, it was a strip down match or whatnot, whatever you want to say. That's where the women were. And Vince McMahon is like, now this is entertaining. Because Vince Russo wanted the ratings. Vince Russo wanted people to come by and say, what's, what's, what's this chick fight going on? Or why are these people fighting in this cage or having, you know, some kind of stipulation or something? That's where Vince Russo was. And the Attitude Era wasn't, it was based on attitude on one silly thing. It was a catchphrase. That's all the Attitude Era was. It was a catchphrase. We've got attitude. We've got pop. We've got <laughs> Whatever that was. That's all it was. It, it wasn't an era. It was a catchphrase. People call it an era. It never was. It's just a catchphrase. I understand why they call it an era because it stopped being... Remember how you said when 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 you were younger and you would watch WWF, it was all brightly colored and they were more superhero like. Yeah. Okay. There was none of that. There was none of that in the Attitude Era. They were trying to be edgy, push the envelope. Yeah. With the cursing. They got attitude. Remember and that, the bodies. All the kids back then, you know. I was I, I, I was about one of them, you know, not like that, but they all had attitude. I'm tired of your attitude, you know that. That's what it, it was. Just a catchphrase. Yeah. And it, and that's how the kids were. Anything that happened, the kids got ticked off and mad when they got in trouble, or if somebody didn't do exactly what they wanted to do when they wanted to do it. it rebels without causes, and WWE picked up on it, just like ECW. Extreme championship wrestling. Everything was extreme then. Mm-hmm. Remember everything. Snowboarding was extreme though. Nothing changed. Yeah. Roller skating was extreme. Rollerblading was extreme. You know, skiing. Everything was extreme. Extreme biking. <laughs> yeah. Our cereal has attitude. <laughs> and that's what Ru- that's what Russo brought. Yeah. So I get why they call it an era because it's a segment of time when it was a certain way. Yes, and I, I get that. You got to label it something. But that mean that means that they knew it was going to end as well. Ah, you know, things don't last forever. 
once they started getting old, injuring out, or being like, you know, I'm finna go make movies. And, and they and they built nobody else up to take that place. Mm-mm. Nobody. And that's also something Zemo had touched on. They built up nobody. And they practically, I mean, Cody Rhodes, who does he have now? Mm-hmm. Right? I got no idea. And I'm not convinced by Cody either. In a short span, he done wrestled AJ twice. It's, I don't know, it's almost like Rock and Steve Austin. Over and It's over. almost like and Triple over. H and Undertaker or Triple H and The Rock. And over again. So, yeah, it... That's that's what that is. We're trying to have good conversations, hopefully. But like, how much beef can two beans have? <laughs> and then after the beef, like, oh, you know, that, that, that never was. Let's go on to something else. Uh, but, yeah. I, I understand the psychology of what Russo and Vince McMahon were doing. Basically, they were just jacking themselves off. But at the same time... That's what the public wanted, although they didn't respect it. But that's what they've been craving, but it's not what they wanted to stick with. Which goes into how fickle they are, as Zemo even pointed out. The Springfieldians. Springfieldians. So look, that's that's going to do it for this. Uh, we want to try to get another one in? We can try, yeah. All right. So, you've been Cedric and Cedric for CRS and Commentary, answering viewers. Y'all be cool, be chill, be safe. And... Uh, We'll see you next time.